It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 16th of February. I'm James Spann. Our little surprise snow event is over, but it's still so cold across Alabama today. And could we see more freezing or frozen precipitation for the northwest part of the state tomorrow evening? That's the next big question. So let's dive into it and see. This is the upper air look across the country today. And we got broad troughing coming out of the Rockies. That's our next storm system, and that will bring a widespread rain event to the state tomorrow night into Thursday morning. This afternoon, the sky is bright and sunny over the southern half of the state. Clouds linger over the northwestern counties of Alabama, where there is a big snow cover and ice cover still on the ground today. And yes, indeed, we had some snow this morning. How about that? There's always a surprise with every winter weather event, and this was your surprise with this one. Snow flurries and light snow that persisted through the morning hours. In fact, even some parts of northwest Alabama still getting a few light areas of snow this afternoon, but it's cold everywhere. Culma, 19. Utah, 21. Birmingham, 23. Uh, temperatures ought to be in the upper 50s this time of the year, so we are a good 30 to 35 degrees below average. And around the region... Cold everywhere except maybe Jacksonville, Florida. They've got 67. To the west, we have a winter storm watch for parts of West Tennessee, North Mississippi. Winter storm warnings in effect. Much of Oklahoma, Arkansas, parts of Texas, northwest Louisiana with our next system. Here's the severe weather outlook. No severe storms through tonight. But tomorrow, we have a risk of severe storms on the Gulf Coast. This uh, level 2 out of 5 includes Mobile, Baldwin, Parts of Escambia counties, a marginal risk, level one out of five, as far north as Grove Hill, Greenville, and Abbeville. And then on Thursday, we have a risk of severe storms over southeast Alabama. Uh, some of the counties involved in that level two risk would include Houston, Henry, Coffee, and Geneva. So again, it's a case where parts of the state could see some icing. Parts of the state could see severe storms going on at the same time. This is the precipitation for the next seven days. Rain amounts for Alabama between one and two inches from most locations. So let's dive into modeling. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at three. Big trough to the west, that's our new storm. And freezing rain will likely be ongoing during the day. Through parts of East Texas, North Louisiana, and West and Central Mississippi. So let's go to six o'clock tomorrow evening. And understand the models have not handled this cold air very well. They typically don't in cases like this, and uh, the high-res NAM showing a large mass of freezing rain over northwest Alabama, where temperatures could be below freezing. Not snow, but freezing rain, more ice for the shoals, places like Russellville, Hamilton, Hackleburg, Phil Campbell. Uh, so again, we could have another round of ice, but the good news, a pretty good push of warmer air will likely come in tomorrow night, changing the bulk of that to rain. And for most of the state, this will just be a soaking rain event tomorrow night. But again, it could start off as freezing rain or sleet up in northwest Alabama. Then by 6 o'clock Thursday morning, the bulk of the really big rains are on to the east. Some lingering snow at the upper trough over Tennessee. And by Thursday at 3, maybe some drizzle or a few flurries. But again, uh, the bulk of the activity is on by. And it could be a day where temperatures start in the 40s, then kind of falling back in the 30s on Thursday. This is the synoptic look Thursday afternoon. Again, the big uh, icy mess well on to the east. So Friday, we're dry and cold. Uh, temperatures on Friday will be in the low and mid-40s, maybe 30s for the Tennessee Valley. This is Saturday. We'll be way below freezing. Saturday morning, lows around 20. But the good news, we start to warm up Saturday afternoon. A good chance we break 50 for the first time in a while. We're expecting mid-50s. And Sunday, how about low 60s with a partly to mostly sunny sky? That'll feel great. We'll go to Monday. A cold front comes in with a chance of showers. Looks like the better chance could be Maybe after midnight, Sunday night, or Monday morning. Probably not too much rain with that. And there's no cold air behind this. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 23rd. A broad northwest flow aloft and a nice day. The sky mostly sunny with a high close to 60. We'll go out 10 days. Friday of next week, the 26th of February. Troughing north and west of the state. And if this is right, we are dry and mild. This is the snow output for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. And what you're seeing here, this is the European suggesting on the backside of the departing system. We could see a few snow flurries, maybe Thursday evening or Thursday night. That's what this is indicating, but nothing meaningful. 
And rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between two and three inches, although the spread really increases out there in the longer range. This is valid through March 3rd. And temperatures after that little last cold shot on Friday, that's going to be it for the cold for a while. Temperatures next week, mostly in the middle 60s. And hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook. This is for the 24th of February through March the 2nd. Above average temperatures for the southeast United States. How about that? That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.